What's up, y'all? This is Stacy from H Blues Word. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. So in the wake of three lawsuits alleging SA, Sean Diddy Combs has temporarily stepped aside as chairman of Revolt, the music-oriented television network he co-founded in 2013. Representatives for Combs confirmed this with various media outlets. Now, a statement posted to Revolt's Instagram page reads, in part, Sean Combs has stepped down from his position as chairman a revolt while Mr. Combs has previously had no operational or day-to-day -day role in the business this decision helps to ensure that revolt remains steadfastly focused on our mission to create meaningful content for the culture and amplify the voices of all black people throughout this country and the African diaspora so I feel in this statement them mentioning that Diddy had no operational or day-to-day -day role in the business is their way of saying that revolt is is bigger than Diddy. And they are hoping that viewers and advertisers, most importantly, understand that so the entire network is not affected. In fact, that is what a source told TMZ, that Diddy isn't about to let issues in his personal life take down the successes in his professional life. And Revolt has been a network for about 10 years. But the fallout continues. Diddy's partnership with Capital Preparatory Harlem Charter School has also come to an end and following these lawsuits, Dr. Steve Perry, the founder and head of the school, made an announcement on the school's website, and the Shade Room shared that statement on their Instagram page. Perry wrote, following a comprehensive evaluation, a decision has been made to end the partnership between Capital Preparatory Schools and Sean Combs. While this decision was not made lightly, we firmly believe it is in the best interest of our organization's health and future. Diddy helped launch the school back in 2016 and made a $1 million donation towards funding the school's Bronx location in 2021. 50 Cent, who has been trolling Diddy hard, damn near daily since Cassie's lawsuit was first revealed, and where his beef with Diddy started is unclear, but he has expressed interest in buying Revolt after the announcement of Diddy temporarily leaving. And I actually think 50 is serious. 50 took to his Instagram and said, I'll buy that from you, play boy for the low because you know Cadillac and AT&T gonna pull out and he added I'll give you a few dollars for it now sell it to me then we can be friends I'm serious call my phone Good Lord, so much so fast. So do you think Diddy is officially on that Cosby train where he will pretty much be done for good when it comes to his public persona? Or do you think there is room for him to bounce back in time, assuming these allegations are not proven to be true? Again, Diddy maintains his innocence, but share your opinions below and I'll catch you next time.